Storing safety glasses in normal production area, anywhere within the yellow lines and inside the plant door, you always have to wear safety protection on the eyes. But I will not be doing it for this demonstration purposes only. So now we're going to begin the actual tour of the production line. As we stated earlier in, in the layout, we begin with the horizontal payout system. This is the stainless steel 717 grade material, 6,000 stick. We, we choose a horizontal payout for multiple reasons. One, we can stack multiple layers of material width up to 40 inch, 48 inches of diameter. This gives us good overall efficiency in production run. We never have to change coils until this coil is done. The other reason, it's a very quick setup. We put this skid on via forklift and the stack material is here. And number two, ergonomically, the operator does not have to handle the large coils by flipping them over vertically. So we stack them on top. The material is then paid off the horizontal payout counterclockwise through a feeder system. The feeder system is being driven by an ultrasonic loop sensor control. This controls the loop going into the press. We want to have a good amount of distance for loop control to make sure that we can maintain speed levels of increase or decreasing speed without having any effect on the feed. So this is why we choose to have a three foot loop level. Now the flat stock 6,000 stick goes into the mechanical feed. The feed is set at a desired set length and it's mechanically driven through the stroke by the press into the progressive tool. As the material enters the die, it's going through the, the compressive component. As you can see from the spark, we have two laser-like cables that are spot welding the, the laser. Then we go into the, the modular section of the tooling, the cutoff. As you can see here, this is the six characteristics of dimensions, four dimensions, two spot welds to make sure that we're in physical control of the actual production. Green means all systems are go and the parts are good. Once the parts get cut off, they go down into the good part pin where we have the product. If the parts are bad, they go into the blue pin. The yellow pin is complete scrap. Now we're gonna stop the press and we're gonna take a closer look at the tooling. As we said before, the tooling is completely modular. The first section is a progressive die. This is where the part comes in and it gets formed by various punches and die sections to, to create the final intricate barrel shape. Then this is the in-die laser welding module. We have a blue and a red for the front weld and then the red for the back weld. This is attached through two laser light fiber optic cables 0.4 millimeter thick that gets goes along the cable tray, hard tube up to the trump laser. The next section is the vision system. This is the in-die modular vision system where we're inspecting every single part backlit with infrared. And then from that section we go to our automation section where we're then cutting off the parts that are good, it, and they go down the good bin, or we're cutting off the bad parts into the bad bin. And throughout the tool, you have different sensors to make sure that the part is in place during every progressive stroke. We do all this at 300 strokes per minute. For today's videos, we've slowed up the press so you can actually see it go up and down. What these two tubes you see, is what we spoke about earlier, is a gas extraction unit, okay? This is PVC piping. It goes into the die section itself and it extracts through a vacuum hard pipes into the unit to upstairs. And this is the general overview of the modular tooling design from the progressive tooling, the in-die laser module, including the two heads, the camera die section, and the cutoff and the cutoff section of the tooling. Now I'm going to begin the press again. As you can see, it's a completely user interface touch control. 
It tells you faults, all right? It tells you when you have to acknowledge them. Right now, it tells me the, the laser's not ready. The B control of the screen is waiting for the laser to turn back on upstairs. When the laser is ready, it will acknowledge on the B control, which means all my safeties are down and all my guarding's ready, because this is class one laser safety with this green tint, this does not hurt my eyes. I'm gonna acknowledge that we're ready. The laser is now calling for the laser to turn on and run a certain program. Now we can begin the, begin the run. And now, as you can see, the laser is firing and the tool is running. All of our guard systems are down. And now we're going to go upstairs and we're going to take a look at the three peripheral equipment that will be stored upstairs, which will be the gas extraction unit, the laser itself, and the auxiliary equipment for the auto vision system because obviously we don't have a full, a full computer here. We only have the touch screen and the, and the Siemens uh, PLC, but the actual CPU and data server is upstairs. This particular unit here is the gas extraction unit, okay? And what it is, it's an industrial size vacuum. It takes the air, it takes the air in through a scrubber system, and then it goes into the overall container, and any type of fluids or liquids are trapped in here, and then the clean air exits at the rear. What we have here is our True Pulse 74 laser trump unit. We're using two laser light cables to go to our two optic heads. We have an ability up to six, and we have our 1000 controller, which we can program and have a, we can touch, touch screen display, where we can go into the program, and we can always alter anything we want to do right here. Then, over here, we have our auto vision system. As you can see here, this is where the auto vision system is stored, server, main, piece, main, main uh, PLC, and another uh, server down below, and this controls the, the, the logic of the vision system camera. This box here is the interface between the Trump laser, the vision system, and the, the B control unit, the touch screen below. This is the interface that, that allows the B control to talk to the laser to make sure that all safeties are on when we are running, and it actually tells to press when the call for the laser to fire. This is the interchange box. This is the additional workspace I spoke about earlier. We had, we lit LED above here. This is where if we wanted to, we can actually run an inline degreaser in this section or a take up system, okay? The other thing I wanted to point out was that we made sure that we had all the air manifolds and vessel controls labeled going back to the die along with LEDs to tell us whether or not they're activated. Here we have the vision system control which displays the six characteristics, four dimensions, and two spot welds. We use normal control charts using SPC to show you that we're in process control for all dimensions. The green is the result of having a good part. And these are all the running dimensions for every single part. If we see a bad part, all this data is stored along with the picture. This lets the operator know through a touch screen that we are in control and that whether the part is good or bad. This will also operate the PLC to let the die know whether or not to cut the part off 